Howdy, my friends. Michael Palmisano here. Back on Guitargate. And Camer 21 says, Week 5 of posting all them witches. This is Joshua Ammer as his name. Thanks for being a subscriber. Now, I normally don't um, reward people that just scam or I, what do you call it? I don't know, spam the Reacts request page on Guitargate. But I'm curious. So let's hit the button. Joshua says, check him out. Really looking at his slide and solo work. The tone and uniqueness of the band keeps them atop my list. It's Ben McLeod, McLeod on guitar, Michael Parks on bass, Robbie Stabler on drums, and Alan Cleave on keys, though he's not in this vid. All right, Joshua, this is for you. Let's hit the button. 11 minutes. Come on, Joshua. Great tone. All right, so real quick, I can see that uh, he's in fourth position, but he's not getting that. He's getting that. He's getting A and E. So I'm going to just assume that we're in... Uh, D standard for, for right now. I can tell I'm going to dig this already. Um, basic tonality thing we're having here. Root and fifth. We're moving up. Minor third. To the fourth. And we eventually get up to the fifth. But something changes where um, the A stays up on the treble. I missed if there's a middle note. If it's just, you know, that changes. It'll come back around again. But I'm digging the tempo. I'm digging the swampy feel. Let's go. sounds like it's double. We'll see. Bass push? Or perfect. To that 
is a cool little addition, little detail. My gut feeling is that was a mistake at first whenever they first started putting the song together and everybody said, stop, use it. It was bitching. Um, yeah, everything seems to be coming from A major, D major, E major, C, C major, and G major. They're not hitting all of those thirds uh, they're keeping like a you know a high power chord thing going, but there's like little clues in there that it's that it's brighter than the minor tonality. Even even though you right like we're kind of in A minor, but like it's just kind of brighter. Love this little that flat seven one they threw in there. Let's keep going. Up the spire, nestle, Love this bass of creation. Flat three to four. I'm building a cult around your figure. The saints want the idol's present. The idol presence. The idol's present. So like right there. Want. Present, the idol presence, the idol's presence. Hold on. The idol's present, the idol presence, the idol's present. You know that that the simple one two flat three in A right, but just the just the layering of adding adding that next little spot make it a little bit higher. It just brings the next piece. It just keeps the song moving. Love that high. That -do 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 -do. The bass is making this.
This is what I'm talking about. These little things. Now listen, he's in B position, right? But we're tuned down, so it's gonna sound like A. Now listen to this little, little spot. Right? Start on the fifth, right? Flat seven. Unison bend to the fifth, right? <laughs> this, this. That's a major third, my friends. That's a C sharp. That's no C. We've been seeing all day, right? We've been seeing all day. And then root flat seven. I told you. There's little hints of brightness in here. Don't let it fool you, okay? Because here's the thing. I've talked about it a bunch on this channel. Here we are, six minutes and 11 seconds in before we get to something you actually get to learn. Um, the higher third always wins. If you play a minor third over a major chord, sounds bluesy, right? But if you play a major third over a minor chord, immediately it just becomes major, okay? It's just the major third wins because the third creates the chord function more than any other note. So I was telling you before, it's like, ah, you know, I, I know we got an A and we got a C, and so you're thinking A minor, but like I'm, it, this is feeling like that, you know, old school rock and roll type thing where all the chords are really, you know, major, even if you're not always playing the third. So just this little, it's like, oh yeah, right. A7 is the, is, 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 is the neighborhood. Don't sleep on your thirds. Always be third hunting. You know this. And that little, and that little root, flat seven, major sixth. Friends, what is the major sixth? It's the major third of your four chord. We're implying D major here, right? What did I tell you? You think you're in A minor, and so you think your D would be D and F, right? You have a minor four, major, major. Okay, your six is your four, because your six is the third of your four chord. Your six is your four, remember it forever. Major six means major four chord. Flat six means minor four chord. Do it again. Yep. Right there, up that, you know, up to that minor third, right? Mix and match, baby, mix and match. The Albert King zone, that, 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 that. I forgot, I forgot this phrasing, but one thing to note in here, fifth, flat seven, root, flat three, fourth, fifth, right? This is Albert King's own. Albert King land, minor third bends. But the one thing he does, bends through the root to get the nine, the oft forgot about nine in the Albert King box. Um, you just gotta make sure you get to it. There's that six again, right? Right that. What is that? That's your major six. One, flat seven, six. What is that? 30 or four chord, that's D major. I'm telling you, six is your four, drill it in your skull. Bass, man, I love the bass. Love the double hi hats and the grab. Go. 
double, now triple. spots like that, okay? You got What are these? C major triad, D major triad, okay? Even if you omit the fourth string and you just, you know, want to make it, you know, like Still, it's still the same thing because you can remove the fifth all day. Hell, you can remove the root. As long as you play that E, right? Third of, e, of C major. As long as you play that F sharp. Third of D major. The function is the same. Excellent sound. All right, this is one of the reasons you buy a Les Paul. Um, not just for the creamy, sustainy tone that we just love and adore, um, but it's being able to turn your volume off on one pickup and have the other one up and just using your pickup selector. To... Um, and it just is so clean. Side note, um, someone takes care of their gear. Because all of mine that I ever had that have that, whether it's a Les Paul or not, it's all static and whatever. I haven't used electrical cleaner in a decade on anything, um, but uh, I should, and you clearly do, um, because that was pristine. As far as what he's doing, again, looks like B, sounds like A. I'm in A. <laughs> Following the minor scale straight up, feeling it out, up and down. Hear that? Hear that motion? Love the back and forth with the drum fills here. telling you i know we're all watching the toms we're all watching his snare work and his face and like how it's just like he's like in everything like it's it's almost like he's got to be uncomfortable like the exact opposite of like that reacts relaxed playing that 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 uh, everyone talks about but these little hi-hat grabs with his left foot doing the, the double tap for each one 
But every time he's going around the kit, you can tell it's the hi-hat that resets the internal groove for him. Watch these little grabs. That, that, right? We've entered uh, so Pink Floydy. What is that song? I can't. Somebody, somebody in the comments will know. Um, but we've entered Pink Floyd land. Um, a major, G major. Okay, five to four. A mixo, if you want, whatever you want to call it. Slide is focused on G major triad. So your slide is playing the same fret on the four, three, and two strings, getting your fifth root major third, respectively. Pushing straight up into that five chord, into A major. Again, major chord, okay? Like it, it's, this is such a, that juxtaposition between are we major or we minor? Because the progression leans minor, because you get A going to a C as far as in the bass, but your triads are like major all day. So just keep that in mind, because when you're doing the slide, your third's on your second string. So to make it minor, in that shape you'd have to like twist it back a little bit and kind of fluff up to it which is really hard to do most people don't really do that they'll just outline minor a different way so if it's like it's a minor they'll play two things on the same fret that'll grab the third you got to make sure you get the third so it'd be like c and a like this right or like, but they'll but they'll like omit the uh, the note that they can't get as long as you get the third you have to get the third remember it forever All them witches, blood and sand. Very cool. Thank you, Joshua Ammer. It only took you five weeks of posting this for me to do it. But anyway, thanks for being a member of Guitargate and turning me on to all them witches. Okay. Uh, key takeaways are this. Uh, bass player for the win. Uh, I love your sound. I love the weird stuff that they bending the root but not even getting to the flat three in the bass while you're singing my man um that your six is your four okay and watch out for your thirds the third creates chord function more than any other note so but the higher third always wins so you can play a minor progression like an a chord to a c chord right and that would make you think a minor but then you can c sharp all over that bad boy all day because as soon as you hit the c sharp the c sharp takes over the function and it becomes that bright major thing um and again the opposite is if you're playing over a major chord already and you play a c behind it you're just going to get that bluesy sound um, love the tone. I never get to play with that super swampy reverb. Love the hi-hat work by the drummer. His intensity is, is, uh, I haven't seen much like that in a minute. Um, don't go have a heart attack on us. Um, but I, I really dug your, 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 
your hi hat uh, snags. And like earlier, you were doing like once around, and then it was t -t twice, and then t -t -t one, two, three. Love the little texture buildings that you did. Um, and the guitar player, like again, watch the thirds. If you're going to bend through the root, you know, Mike could have to get to that nine. Um, and just don't be afraid to mix major and minor. And as you ascend and descend around, the other thing to watch for are your sixes. Major six or flat six. Is your four chord major or minor? Six is your four. That's it, my friends. I hope you liked this. If you dig the vibe, please hit subscribe. If you felt like you learned something and you'd like to learn a little more, I hope you join the community. It's the first link in the description. It's called GuitarGate. It's my life's work. All my lessons and courses are there. And as a thank you for doing that, or for letting me be one of your teachers and joining the community, I'll let you pick what comes next on YouTube. Might take you five attempts. Don't spam it. Don't spam it like Joshua. This is a this is an outlier. Um, but uh, it's my way of saying thank you for supporting me in this channel. That's it. Where should we go next? Drop it in the comments. Tell us on GuitarGate. But if you do nothing else, keep this guitar in your hands, my friends. I'll see you real soon. Cheers.